Okay, guys, this is going to be my review for the movie Locked Down. I watched this movie today, and it was horrible! Gosh! It's the worst movie I've seen in 2021. Worst movie I've seen in years. I can respect the bold and bold concept of making a movie during the pandemic about the pandemic and releasing it during the pandemic. And honestly, the idea of making it and releasing it during the pandemic has nothing to do with why I don't like it. I don't like it because it was boring. Because they, this film is just about two characters arguing with each other, making it up, making up with each other, arguing, making up. The whole movie is just them regretting their life. It's the most depressing movie I've ever seen without being sad. Like, there are depressing movies that are sad. That's okay. But this is just depressing because these characters have nothing good in their lives. I get it, it's a pandemic. I get it, but I think they're, they're not depressed because of the pandemic. They're depressed because of their work and because of they, they don't love each other and they want to break up. And it's like, I don't know, there was just something about it that was like, we have to literally watch two people in quarantine together that have really no personality other than they hate each other, but then they fall in love, which was totally expected. And this movie was marketed as a comedy, as a Ocean's Eleven style comedy heist movie. Yeah, the heist is non-existent. Okay, so this is the heist. They literally walk in, because she works there and has a job there, she's able to just get the diamond, bing, bam, boom, she gets the diamond, and all they do is is take the fake diamond, put it in the real diamonds box, and that's it. There's no, like, like, like sneaking, there's no, you know, espionage, it's just, it's just walking in, taking the diamond, and walking out. I'm, I'll be fine with that if there was other depth to any other parts of the movie. See, I didn't, I wasn't upset. I wasn't upset that there was no big heist for the reason that there wasn't a big heist. I was upset because the movie was just so boring and so depressing, the first two acts of the movie, which seemed to be building up to this big heist, you see? But then you get to the third act, and there's no real heist. It's a bait and switch, but when the bait and switch, when you're baiting something that seems interesting and switching it with something that's not even remotely interesting, the big tension climax is just, just, um, just, um, the girl in the movie, the robber in the movie, just trying to convince her co-worker to, to, I to, to let them go. It's literally, the, it's literally, let's walk in. Oh, you have a diamond for us? Thank you for the diamond. We're totally going to send that to New York. Oh, there's the fake diamond. Without any security, let's just get the fake diamond. Oh, we have the fake diamond. Oh, let's just pluck it out. Switch. Oh, we switch. Now we have the real di- Oh, security. But it's not security. It's just, um, it's just the girl's co-worker. Oh my god, you robbed the place. Yes, we did. We robbed the place. But you're not going to tell anyone because... Not because they're going to pay them or him. They're not going to pay him with the millions of dollars they have. No. It's because we're good guys. You're not... We stole millions of dollars worth of diamonds, but we're the good guys? So you're not going to report us? It was the dumbest thing ever. I'm sorry, but if I saw someone robbing a millions and millions of dollars worth of diamonds and or a, a diamond worth of millions of dollars and i saw someone rob a diamond worth of millions of dollars and just say i'm i'm going to let you go because you're the good guy yet you stole a diamond worth of millions of dollars no my first instinct is oh hell no i'm calling the cops i'm not you're not you're not doing the, like they literally did a jedi mind trick on him they were literally like they were literally like and can you please let us go? I will let you go. It was, I don't know. And so when you have, 
a lackluster story throughout. You're like, okay, build up to the heist. Okay, the heist is coming. The heist is coming. But there's no, like... Like, yes, it was a heist in the sense that they did steal a diamond. But it's not really a heist in what you think is a heist. It's, it's a heist in that they stole something, but not a heist in how they did it. See, there's a thing... I think the difference is what we wanted was not a heist. What we wanted was a heist type of movie. There's a difference. Because... I could steal a hundred bucks. That's a heist. But if all I had to do was pickpock someone, pickpocket someone, then that's not a good heist. See, it's not, I think at the end of the day, the truth was we didn't want, I didn't want a heist. I wanted a heist style ending, a heist movie ending. Like when you think of, when you think of a heist movie, that's what I hoped for. But you just never got that. And it was so unfortunate because I think the story was, had potential. Like, this idea of, like, a robbery set in the pandemic. That had so much great potential for, like, a... a, a it's a movie like that. It, it, it had a lot, a lot of potential, you know? Unfortunately. It didn't, um... It didn't come out. It didn't play out how I wanted it to play out. I don't know what... So I really hated the movie, I'm sorry, but it was just, it was horrendous. I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't, I really didn't like it. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos coming right at you.